What's up everyone, I'm back again. This is Boss, and today we're going to talk about what to do if you have a difficult situation in business. Now, before I move forward, let me say this again. This is not financial advice. This is not counseling. This is not business advice for you. I'm just some guy on YouTube. Please don't come after me for listening to my advice and failing whenever you should always talk to a professional. All right, let's get started. Number one, let's say you're in a difficult situation. Your business could be in a negative. Your business could be failing. Your business could be anything going on with it. You could have a business partner that's stealing from the company. You could have legal issue. You could have um, issues with the cops. There's a lot of different things that could happen. And the very first thing you have to do is be honest with everyone around you. Um, and tell them what's going on because everyone's human everyone makes mistakes so let's go get into it can you write out the storm and what do I mean by can you write out the storm let's say that cops show up and they want to do an investigation on you open up the books if you're doing nothing wrong you shouldn't have anything to worry about and they will be able to figure it out better or two just go through your books go talk to the people in the business and see what's going on because maybe it's something simple you can fix but maybe it's just the economy just tanked and you just have to ride out the storm you might have to fire some people you might have to minimize whatever you might have to sell a bunch of stuff but you see have to see if you can ride out the storm first if you can't ride out the storm it takes me to number two should you sell your business? To be honest, most business, they only want your connections and your networking. So if your business is bringing in two or three million dollars a year, you probably could sell your business to another company. And just because your status of your business. So you should always look into option. Maybe I can sell my business and start over if you have a bad business partner for example to sell your business split up and go your separate ways um, if when you don't know if it's a bad business partner not normally until second third fourth year because first year it's gonna be all fine and dandy but you still won't find out until a couple years in because they will try to get away with things that you won't notice at first Let's say they use the credit cards little by little. Well, how are you going to catch that? Because if it's a million dollar business, a $200, $300 charge won't be noticed. Now, let's say, for example, bookkeepers and all that stuff is hiding details from you. You don't catch it. Well, how is that your fault if the bookkeeper you pay? If you did everything in the right like hire a bookkeeper hire a a CPA yeah you're overall at the end supposed to be responsible for it but at the end of the day the CPA would know the law better and should have ha caught it that's why you pay them so they can fight for you because they're the one that filed it for you because they look through your books to make sure everything looks legit because you're not a CPA, you don't know what you're doing. So, you know, there's examples. So just make sure if you can sell your business and you want to get out of business, do it. If not, shut down your business. That's, that's the only two options you can do. Now, there goes the third portion. You have to keep moving forward and do what you can. Um... You have people livelihood relying on you, so you do the best you can. If you do the best you can, there's nothing else you can do. Um, not all business will make it. Not all business will be successful, but hey, keep trying. That's the point of being an entrepreneur, owning a business. You're not going to always strike it rich, and sometimes you don't find out that your business partner is crap until the shit hits the fan so let's keep moving forward and see how 
there is another option if you want to keep your business open. I don't like it, but it's to borrow money from banks, borrow money from XYZ, borrow money and to keep the doors open. Well, it's only good to borrow money if you know what you can use it for and use it properly. Use it for expansion, use it for staffing and everything like that. It's a proper use. Using it going on vacation or anything of that nature, no, that's not right. So you always make sure you try to do what's right. And you borrow the money for use, use it for that use. Now, and last but not least, fix your mistakes. No one's perfect. All business has its ups and downs, and you just have to write it out and keep fixing your mistake and try to hopefully catch it before it's too late. Yep, those are my five tips. And like and subscribe, and I guess stay tuned for more videos. Later.